The IKEA pegboard has been a great addition to my home office setup, particularly for my vlogging equipment that I'd rather not have bouncing around inside a drawer. But because nearly everything I keep here runs on batteries, it would make a whole lot of sense if I could simply charge all of these items on the pegboard itself. Welcome back to All Things Considered. In this video, I'll be sharing the step-by-step -step process of how I turned this IKEA pegboard into a custom charging station. Let's get into it. First, I took stock of the items I had on the pegboard so I could figure out how many ports I would need if I wanted to charge everything simultaneously. In total, I needed 10 charging cables, 9 USB-C, and 1 micro. I took a photo of my existing setup and sketched out a rough plan of how I might route the cables so I could order the appropriate lengths and have minimal slack on the wires. The plan was to have the power brick and cables hidden behind the board and only have the charging tips poke out through the front, where they could be easily plugged into the devices. For the main power source, I found an unbranded 10-port charger that could supply a maximum of 50 watts. I went with this one over more powerful charging bricks because it had a built-in power switch that would save me a lot of work. One challenge of this project was that the charging tips were too wide to fit through the holes in the pegboard, so I used a modeling knife to scrape out larger openings. You could also use a drill to do this I guess, but I wanted to preserve the oval shape. I used my sketch as a guide so I'd know which specific holes I needed to bore out. With the shorter cords in place, it was time to position the charging brick. This took some trial and error, but once I was happy with the layout, I held the charging brick in place with some blue tack and velcro tape. I proceeded to plug in the remaining cables and route them according to my original plan. Some cables like the one intended for this Insta360 fast charger would be routed around the side of the board instead. Due to the thickness of the charging brick, I had to adjust the mounting points of the pegboard by adding some type of spacer. You can use anything for this, but I went with some scrap cardboard strips folded in half. Finally, I was ready to put everything back in place, plug the cables into the devices, and flip the switch. With this setup, I won't have to take anything down from the pegboard for charging, and I can keep all my gear ready for whenever that spark of creativity hits me. I hope this video gave you some ideas for building your own charging station. Check out the description for links to some of the products mentioned here. This video wasn't sponsored but using my affiliate links helps support the channel at no additional cost to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into this type of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.